Hello and welcome to my patchless rundown for the 8th of January. Hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This week we have a new item being introduced to the hard mode drop table of Vorkath, as well as the removal of a long time method of cheesing certain mechanics. Without further ado, let's get right into it. A new item, Vorkath Scale, has been added to the unique drop table from hard mode Vorkath. I think it's great that they added a big drop to hard mode Volkaf's table, however it doesn't make sense that the elite armor set only requires one scale regardless of what piece is being upgraded. It's unintuitive compared to how you upgrade armor in other parts of the game and the value is dependent on which piece you decide to upgrade. For example, if boots are upgraded, its value would be equal to 109 million, but if the body was upgraded, its value would be equal to 638 million, which is almost 6 times the value. I would have preferred if the scale could be broken down to 3 smaller pieces, and the armor would require the standard 25311 material upgrade across helm, body, legs, gloves, boots respectively. This way it would retain a equal value of 422 mil regardless of what piece you upgrade. You would need exactly 4 scale drops to upgrade everything and players wouldn't feel bad about upgrading boots or gloves using the material. Another issue is that players have retained their boss log completion and title if they had completed it prior to this edition which makes absolutely no sense. Players should lose their cosmetics if they don't meet the updated or new requirements as it is in every other part of the game. Imagine getting Golden Reaper and a new boss comes out and you get to keep the title. It would be a misrepresentation of the achievement which isn't good in any game. Players can now set fastest kill times when killing Volkath in hard mode. Players now have to be present when starting the Volkath fight to be able to claim loot. Previously players would wait outside till the end before joining the instance and finishing off Zimrugal, skipping the most difficult part of the encounter and getting the loot. Players can no longer use a power burst of acceleration to skip certain boss mechanics. This is so long overdue. Basically how this would work is whenever players would get locked into place, most common examples being Angel of Death Ice or Yakumaru Sand, players could use the acceleration power burst to blade dive out of the mechanic, completely avoiding it in a cheesy way. Players can once again purchase the sneaker peeper pet from the rewards trader in Damonheim. Sign of the Porter will now correctly bank bonus yields of Phoenix Feather. Change the number of manuscripts given by tier 3 elder troves from 2 to 2 to 3. This might seem like a 25% increase in manuscript drops, but considering that troves aren't the main source of them when looking specifically at big pages, it ends up being an overall 7% increase. Players are no longer prevented from using the Mask of the Abyss teleport with a cannon in their inventory. Premier Artifacts Experience Bonus Perk now works with the advanced pulse cores while training prayer by offering bones on any altar. Necromancy runes and ectoplasm can now be taken to the Anima Islands D&D. Added a 2 tile range to the load last preset option on banker NPCs to match their talk, bank and collect options. And that's it for this week's patch notes. I trust they'll add Volkaf scale to the updated Volkath log as a requirement for the title even though I really don't want to go back there. Anyways, that's it from me. Thank you for watching and take care.